This is a, a look at how to keep the back heart just as wide as the front heart at any time, in back bending or at any time, because we have such a tendency when we want to open the heart to charge it forward somehow and close the back heart. So the learning here is about how wide the back heart can really be. So if you take your, your arms up, Karen, like you're holding a big physio ball and really shuffle the inner edges of your shoulder blades as far away from one another, perfect, and then lay them down and don't let them move. The tendency will be for them to come together just a little, and you want to really resist that. And then I'm going to help. I'm going to take one of these arms, and you can let me have it at this point, and I'm going to get right into her top lung, but I want to know, is it okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm melting down the top lobe of her lung here. And the idea is the integrating of the lung life force, the lung prana, with the marrow of the arm bone prana, because they have an affinity from one another, and it creates a seamlessness in the joint, which is what we're looking for. An idea that there almost is no joint. It's a pranic tube. Is this okay? Mm -hmm. And then she lays it out. Still good? Mm -hmm. And then this one. So the same thing. We're looking at the width in the back, and this, this squeezing push that, that I'm giving her with my hand in, laying it out. I always want to make sure I'm not hurting her. That feels all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And then, releasing it. Wide back heart, wide front heart, gravity on the sternum, nasal bone, throat, hit a belly. <laughs>